Good morning, homesteaders. Another hot and humid day here in Indiana. No rain again. We need some rain bad down here. Uh, today we're going to do a little learn to homestead stuff. I'm going to start working on making a rolling pin. Um, one, it's uh, not having to shop at a store to buy them. Two, it's a way to help generate money for the homestead. And three, it's made in natural woods and it's just much nicer and, and people enjoy them much more. It's going to be a multi-day process so we're not going to be able to knock it all out right now. So what we are going to do is we're going to head on into the workshop here in just a second and we'll start going through the steps on what I do here to make rolling pins. Alright, we're inside the shop right now. I've got me uh, three scraps of wood here. I've got some cherry, some sappy walnut, and some maple. And I'm going to use these three woods to make this rolling pin out of. I need to trim them down just a hair here on the saw. So I'm going to go ahead and trim them down real quick here. going to get a little noisy. I want to start them with. So now I'm going to take these boards and run them over into the planer here and we'll get set up on the planer. I've got the three pieces of wood here over at the planer. The dog just bumped the tripod so we're going to have to kill the dog and get a new one. Uh, I want to get these as smooth and as flat as I possibly can for when I glue them together. I don't want any gaps. Uh, the last pen I made I didn't get them good enough and there was some gaps so I couldn't use that rolling pin. So we're going to start running this through the planer here and see how uh, smooth and flat we can get these woods.
Now I'm going to check to see if they're flushed up against each other. And they're not. There's still a little gap in there. One more time through. Alright, we've got it pretty good right now. I don't have any really big giant gaps there and the clamps will help pull it together tighter. So now we're going to go ahead and set up to get them glued together. Alright, I've got the three pieces of wood down here that I want to glue together. Um, I'm using a Type Bond 3 wood glue. It's a waterproof glue because obviously you're going to be washing uh, this when you use it. Um, really cover the wood with glue, get every bit of it. I can't find the brush I use for spreading the glue, so it'll be finger time. So I want to really coat these up good. as I can get them right now. Clamp them down.
I want to get these clamps as tight as I can get them. get something in a second to put under that. Why, right, that why gonna, are you putting something under that? Just try and help get this off the table here because I've got glue running everywhere oh. so it's not stuck to the table tomorrow. I'll go ahead and get a towel and wipe off some of this excess but it's still going to leak out some. So wipe off your excess glue, try and prop it up a bit just so you can get some air underneath there so it's not stuck to the table. And then we'll come back tomorrow, uh, trim this down some, and put it on the lathe and start the turning process. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I've taken the clamps off of the wood uh, that we glued yesterday. I squared the ends off, uh, ran it through the planer two or three times just to help level out the sides, put it on the lathe. And as, I, as you can see, I started to run the uh, tool down the lathe on the wood here and started the edges on it. Now I've just got to continually keep working that down until I get it into the shape that I want to get it in for the rolling pin. keep doing this process here till we get her uh, whittled down.
as you can see it's starting to take shape but there's still a lot to do to get it down all right we've got it down to a basic round shape now we've got to get it scaled down to where it's not too thick for them to use and tapered at the hands for whomever is using this as a rolling pin but it's starting to come along good shouldn't be that much longer we'll go ahead and start working on bringing it down to size a little bit more still a little too thick around and then we'll have to start tapering it at the ends and I've got to figure out where I want my spot at to taper so we'll say about there and about there which we got here four and four about four inches cutting in
trick now is trying to make sure we've got our tapers equal amount and a straight line across here. I think I'll run some sandpaper over it, smooth it down here a bit just to see where we're at. still see a couple of spots it's a little high on.
All right, I'm going to go ahead now and use different grains of uh, grits of sandpaper and get this down as smooth as I can possibly get it uh, before we seal it up. And we'll seal it up with a food grade oil on here. It's, uh, it's the only thing you want to use. And with these handmade uh, wood products, any handmade wood product, you don't want to put them in washing machines. You want to hand wash everything and then oil everything periodically, whether it's a cutting board or wooden spoons or whatever. Uh, use a food grade oil on them to keep them oiled up and these things will last you forever and you can pass them on down to uh, your kids and your grandkids. And that is how we end up with a rolling pin that looks like that. He said just put some food grade oil on it and you've got something that will last you for years and you can hand down. So I'm going to do a little more touching up on it here and get it all finished off and we'll have a rolling pin here made. So this is Jay signing out of this and if you have any questions about this or how to do this just give me a shout, uh, make a comment down below. Uh, make sure you check this and other products of ours on our web page and the link to that is down below as well and thank you all for watching and subscribing.